You know what? I think we should start with a song. By the way, I'm Brad. Say hi, Brad. Hi. Hey, Brad. What are your names? At Captain. once, all at once. Say your names. Uh, We're trying. Okay, yeah. hi. I, I'll forget it. That was terrible. I'm Brad Tassel. I wrote a book called Don't Feed the Bully, but I don't really want to talk about that. I'd like to do a song. Do you guys want to do a game song with me? Yeah. Two no's? Okay, great. We won't do it. Here we go. Now listen close, I will give you a hint of how this song works, and then it'll be your time to try to do it. Here we go. I've got a sister, painfully thin, stand on a straw, she'll fall right in. Arms at her side, she could stir your drink, makes olive oil look like a big old thing. I've got a sister, we call her Peg. See, she's really skinny, so we call her Peg. No? Okay, we're in real trouble. We're in real trouble, I think. Real trouble. Okay, now I'm going to sing a verse, and this time I'm not going to say the name. You have to think of the name. It's going to be hard. Here we go. Okay. I've got a brother, don't know how to swim, but he don't care. He just jumps right in. He's shaped like a pear. He kind of floats. A big bouncy buoy getting in the way of boats. I've got a brother. We call him. Does anyone know my brother's name right now? Bobby. It's Bobby. Shorten it to? Bob. Bob, you are amazing. Let's all applaud for that. That was really good. Bob. Bob. That's good because he said Bob and a lot of you are still going, what? <laughs> what are we doing? Where are we? Is this school? No, it's not school. It's not school. Okay, here's another one. Listen close. I've got a cousin. Loves green and red. Wears white tights. Even to bed. Spends his nights fighting crime. He wears a cape all the time. I've got a cousin. We call him. What's my cousin's name who goes out and fights crime? Batman. Batman. You know what? Batman is so close, but we don't usually name children Batman. <laughs> but you're very close. It's like Batman. What's he say? Uh, Who's with Batman? Robin. Robin is with Batman. Let's applaud for that. That was beautiful. Robin. That is amazing. OK, everybody do this. Do, do, do. I, okay, just you and I. <laughs> yeah, okay, I know. I just threw that on you. Let's practice our head bobbing, okay? Everyone lean to this side. Just lean. Everyone lean. Are we leaning? Okay, we're going to go really slow at first. Here we go. Now we're halfway up. Now we're on the other side. Now full speed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I've got head trauma over here. Hold on a second. Are the medics, are you guys like, ow, stop it, quit it. Then there's always one long-haired kid going, rock and roll, sir, rock and roll. That's terrible. Hey, that, you know what? I've, I'm going to set this down for a second because I have a question. You know what? I'm going to stop the song for a while. Why is it funny when people get hurt? Because. What? Wait, raise your hand. She's got to get the microphone. Why is it funny when people get hurt? Because they do stupid stuff. Together. Well, yeah, I'm not big on that word, but uh, but it does. They do silly stuff, and sometimes they look like they're getting hurt, and sometimes it's funny. But first, wait a minute. You guys didn't question me on this. Is it funny when people get hurt? No. No. Well, now you're saying no. So let me ask you this question. So is it never funny when people get hurt? Is it always funny when people get hurt? Or is it sometimes funny when people get hurt and sometimes not funny when people get hurt? Never. Okay, so you're saying it's never funny when people get hurt. What? Ooh. <laughs> I just look like I got hurt and people laughed. Well, you didn't really Wait a minute. What are you going to say? I don't think you really got hurt. That's right. You are very smart. So it's funny when people don't really get hurt, but it just looks like when an actor, right? When an actor pretends to get hurt, we think it's funny because we know they're not really hurt, right? So when is it not funny when people get hurt? Oh, when they really are hurt. You are the smartest person that ever lived on the planet. <laughs> it's never funny when people are really hurt. So that's what I want to talk about for a second. Do you know what the word empathy means? It means to feel sorry for other people. Well, not sorry for other people. That's very good when you have sympathy for other people if somebody's going through something. Yes, do you know? When you're 
careful of other people's feelings. Wow, that is brilliant too. You guys are so close. Empathy is when you can feel and understand what somebody else is feeling. And when I talk about understanding when people get hurt, I'm talking about physical empathy. When somebody pretends to get hurt or they do something silly and they're not really hurt, we laugh because we know they're not hurt. We can literally feel it. Like when I just fell down like that, you knew I wasn't hurt, but you knew what it would feel like to do it. So you could laugh. If I really hit my head, you would all be shocked and you would know how much that hurts. So you wouldn't laugh. That's one kind of empathy, physical empathy. But there's a second kind of empathy and that's called what? Do you know? Um, emotions? <laughs> Emotional. Emotions. Emotional empathy. Meaning that you can understand when somebody's hurting in here, when somebody's been calling them names or somebody hurts their feelings or they hurt in here because they're scared or worried that you have empathy for them and that you can feel it. A lot of times bullying happens because kids don't have emotional empathy. All of you have physical empathy, so do I. But a lot of times when you look at somebody, you don't know they're hurting inside. And just because something doesn't hurt you, you think it doesn't hurt them. Boys don't understand what girls go through sometimes. Girls don't understand what boys go through. But that doesn't mean it doesn't hurt. So what you need to do from now on is truly understand that if somebody is hurting just because you're not, that they can still be hurting and you don't call them names. You don't be mean to them. You don't try to hurt them more. So all you need to really understand is that if somebody's feelings are hurt, how do you treat them? Nice. Nice. You understand. <laughs>